And blue winged helmets on offense. Got blown out in the first half and now just desperate to find anything to generate momentum here in the third quarter. It just starts with one play, though. You just need one thing to go right for this offense to start to build that momentum, and then that becomes infectious for the defense, for special teams. Everything can change. It just takes one play. It really can, and it's so strange, and you can't quantify it, and I don't know how to describe it as a coach or as a player, but you got to make something happen, and it's got to start on this drive. They're bringing heat. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. Well, we've seen this offense struggle early in this game, protecting the quarterback. They went in at halftime, thought they'd made the right adjustments, but it's not looking like it right now. They're still having issues keeping this guy standing up straight. Up front, they're just getting beat across the board. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. And the Wolverines will bring the punt team onto the field. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Looking for a block. It's Smith. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been... Off he goes! He's at the 20! Touchdown, Michigan! And the pummeling has started. This offense looked unstoppable in the first half, lighting up the scoreboard, and it doesn't look much different here in the second half. They take their first drive of the third quarter, march it down the field, and score. There is no end in sight for these guys. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside the 20, chance for great field position. Probably needed to pick up an extra block or two, but as it is, he'll be stopped at the 28. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, Dave, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. You know, you got to be careful as a QB throwing to your running back in man coverage. If there's a linebacker draped all over him, then that, that ball's not going anywhere. You just saw it right there. Better play by the defense. Here's the handoff. Get him on the ground after a four-yard run out to the 31. Wow, this offense is doing nothing. They've already punted four times and staring at the possibility of a fifth. Trying to get to him. He'll off one deep down the left side. Oh, and it's picked off. Threw it right into the teeth of double coverage. Oh, he was hoping to make something out of that return, but they'll have it first down at the 39. What a nice catch by the defensive back. Listen, a lot of times you see DBs get in position to make plays, but there's a reason they play DB and not wide receiver. Great job finishing the interception, catching the ball, and making a big game. To the ground with the back. At midfield, he's got room. Running through contact. He'll work his way down to the 28. And obviously this offense has had their way, getting the huge lead. And now, when you know it's a running situation later in the ball games, you're still getting pounded. This defense has to step up at some point and be a lot more physical. D coordinators down the road that have to play this offense, man, they're going to have nightmares because this unit has so much speed and so much skill. At running back, receiver, tight end, the quarterback making good decisions, it is so tough trying to stop them and prevent explosive plays. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. Touchdown, Wolverines! And the beatdown has ensued. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, well, that guy had 12 touchdowns for me. Well, four or five of them might have been in this game.
Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And it was punctuated by an 11-yard run for the score. Looking for an alley from inside his own 20. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, and Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. You got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drop. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Moving out of the pocket. Oh, he just handled it poorly, and it's a fumble. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Defensive coordinators always preach swatting and batting at the football and trying to punch it out, trying to dislodge the ball from the ball carrier. And boy, they did it right there. Short fields make successful offenses just what they want here. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. The Wolverines will try to punch it in on first and goal. He wants to throw. Got it! They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. And this defense continuing to struggle with the passing game. Listen, these offenses are so sophisticated nowadays. They're hard to stop, man. And it's a new one every single week. And, and I say this, this game, this defense underperformed. They're better than what they've shown. They've gotten torched. Touchdown, Michigan! And the punishment has been extended. This has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day, putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. Takes it inside his own 20. Chance for great field position here. Maybe if he could have eluded just one or two more guys, it would have been a big return, but they'll mark it at the 30. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. This has been an old-fashioned fanny paddling, David. I mean, they've just got taken behind the woodshed. There's nothing to say. This has been an absolute beatdown. Dominated from the start, Jesse, to almost the finish now. They have done nothing right. Everyone's going to... And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. The defense puts the exclamation point on the day. They have had a wonderful day, man, doing everything great. You could tell they were dialed into what was going on and now just throw another sack in the equation. Hit them. Nowhere to go and the ball is loose. And the defense has it. They're going the other way. Touchdown Wolverine. And the defense doing work. You know, the defense is all about stopping teams, but when you have a chance to swing momentum, scoop it and score yourself, it is such a huge play. Man, you just go to the offense like, bro, we don't need you to do that. We got this. We'll, we'll, we'll score ourselves if we have to. Great job by the defense doing what they need to do and then go talk a little trash to the offense. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. That is a defensive player's dream. Ball sitting there, chance to scoop it up, one with it, and they don't stop you until the band starts playing. Looking for daylight from inside his 20. 
Probably needed to pick up an extra block or two, but as it is, he'll be stopped at the 28. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. This has been a really disappointing performance, David. No question about that. But they can find some positives. Yeah, and every time you watch the tape, you know, Jesse, coaches are pointing out, look at this. This was open if we had just ran the details to the right route, hung on to the football. Little things can make a big difference. Yeah, that's why they call it a game of inches, David. But I'll say this. If you're on offense, don't go on social media this week. It ain't going to be pretty after this performance. You've got to lock in. you got to take the week of practice very seriously and find those positives that you can build off, David, you're talking about. White going to attack through the air. Looking down the middle. And he throws down the gut of the defense. It's incomplete. This offense has been suffocated by a sea of maize and blue, reminiscent of what the national champion Wolverine D did in 97, holding their opponents to single digits. And it's at every level. I mean, just a great job being physical up front, locking down in the secondary. Michigan defenses are always on point. They don't give up silly, stupid plays. They just don't do that. And the Wolverines will have it first and 10. Get set. He's looking to throw it. Catch in the middle, it's Neighbors. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Well, this offense has not put their best product on the field today. They've got no points to show for any of their efforts so far, but they've still got a chance. But if it's gonna happen, it has to happen now in this two-minute situation. This is where their playmakers need to step up. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you could tell they were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game. Makes a grab and he's dragged down. And this offense is gonna have to find more experience. It's, it can't just rely on the dink and dunk. It's going to have to find itself and score more points. Listen, they got beat up today. But moving on in the future, they've got some good pieces. They can... And the rush will get to him at the 25. Okay, Fourth and a long way to go, but the offense is going to give it a shot. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Unleashes one deep. And that one is picked off in the end zone. And with that turnover, that'll finish the game. When you know you have a team outclassed, the ability to play to that standard and finish with a blowout like this is really impressive. And it's almost like playing against yourself, right? You know you're better. You know you're going to win the football game. But how do I continue to still execute? This, this was so easy. Great execution. Uh, just beat down in every facet. I think as a player, you just love being in such great rhythm. And we saw that right from the get-go in this game. Offense just able to matriculate the ball down the field. Defense was not giving anything up. What a great game plan coming in. And this was just total domination. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been...